What's up YouTube? This is Cobra Timmy and I'm here to present you with In the Wild Finds episode number 26. Episode number 26 is basically the whole month of November's pickups from thrift stores and I guess if you want to include them, garage sales. Garage sale season's been over here for at least a couple months as you notice. Uh, this whole year was actually pretty lackluster in garage sale finds. But I explained that during that little rant that I had in the one video. Um, so far, there's only three stops for the month of November. Uh, one from Salvation Army, one from Half Price Books, and one at Goodwill. So let's start here with the Salvation Army pickup. On the 4th of November, paid 86 cents for one item, which is kind of self-explanatory at that price. It is a zombie from Plants vs. Zombies. I uh, just found out while grabbing him out, he says, it says squeeze me on him. And he makes like a noise like he wants to talk, but I think his battery is dead. Probably why it got dumped off. Uh, I don't care, he's plush. I bought him because I thought he was just plush. I didn't know he made noise. So cool to add to the collection. I did find that cone zombie in the dumpster when I found him at GameStop the one time so that'll be kind of like my little Plants vs. Zombies collection. Uh, next pickup is jumping all the way to the 26th of November uh, paying $29.23 and it was a dollar sale for everything. Their usual dollar sales, I believe that was right after Thanksgiving. It might have been right before it. I don't remember the actual date of Thanksgiving. Um, first pickup is Sega Superstars Tennis for Wii. Comes complete. Don't remember even all what's in here. Shadow of Destiny for PlayStation 2. Just the disc. Super Baseball 2020 for Sega Genesis. Uh, picked up these cool uh, mini page markers of Looney Tunes. Picked them up because I like Marvin the Martian on all this these. Uh, don't know if I've said that before. Uh, my family, we do we all did characters and the main one I am is Marvin the Martian. So... Anything Marvin the Martian I have a tendency to pick up. Turbo Prop Racing. Complete. Just needs a new case. Pretty jacked up. Uh, NHL Breakaway 98 for Nintendo 64. High Velocity Bowling for PlayStation 3. Comes complete. Probably a bad game, but hey, all these games for a dollar, can't beat it. John Madden Football, 93. Another Super Nintendo game. Uh, the Eye of Judgment. I picked this up because of the one Cobra Scavages episode. I found the decks and stuff for this game. So I figured I'd pick it up to check it out, see if it's any good. And see, there's the uh, mat and all that that I've found. So definitely had to try that out someday. Uh, first PlayStation Vita game that I got. Nothing special. Major League Baseball 13, the show. Just wanted to pick it up so I'd have something to play with the Vita if I ever want to fire it up. Uh, next game for the Nintendo DS. Sudokuro. It's like a style of Sudoku. Had to check that out. If not, I know my mom likes Sudoku, so maybe I'll let her try it sometime. Uh, another DS game, 18 classic card games. Pro Pinball Fantastic Journey. Kind of funny because I picked this up at that Grant's uh, New Goods or something like whatever it's called. But that one's complete, so I'll have to get rid of the duplicate. Monster Lab. 
missing the manual. Uh, another DVD, Adventure of Sonic the Hedgehog, Tall Tales. So I got a DVD. Picked up Kids Playground Alphabet Circus. Comes complete. Uh, a couple more games. Off-Road Extreme Special Edition. Complete. And Elibits. Comes complete. This year I've been filling up on a lot of Wii games, I can tell. Uh, then the last pickups from this sale were all strategy guides. I don't remember if I had one of these, so I picked this up. Dead Space 2. Uh, classic to add to my collection. GoldenEye 007. Super Smash Bros. Brawl. The worst one out of the batch because it's all tore up, but gonna leave it behind. Uh, Street Fighter X Tekken. I don't know if that's how exactly you say it, but there's that. Grand Theft Auto 3 Strategy Guide. Grand Theft Auto Vice Cities. Or yeah, Grand Theft Auto Liberty City Stories. Fable. And last but not least, sealed copy of Dante's Inferno. So, that'll do it for the pickups there at Half Price Books. Last pickup is from Goodwill. Was done on the 30th of November. Paid $9.72 for two items. And those two items are right here. First one is Jaws Ultimate Predator. Comes complete. And then the last item up for gra or up on the pickups is this Nintendo DS Lite. Pretty beat up, but they had a $15.99 price tag on it. And I was very cautious on buying it for the reasons of that I was going to put it back but then I checked the cartridge slots and to my amazement I found Fire Emblem the Sacred Stones for Game Boy Advance so the person that was at the counter said that they thought this was $5.99 not $15.99 they didn't understand why it was marked that high so she gave it to me for $5.99 I believe the reason why it was was because of this game, but I will gladly take this. I can always use this for parts. Uh, don't think I'll ever need it or need to test it because I have a DS light like that that works fine. So that will do it for this episode of In the Wild Finds. Uh, if you couldn't figure that out, this was probably the score of the week. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the pickups. I did too. Uh, stay tuned for the next video as I'm almost caught up with 2016. And we're basically about a few more videos in and 2016 will be done. Within the wild at least. I still got a few more Cobra scavenges to do. So stay tuned guys. Happy hunting and have a good day. Peace out. Mm -hmm.